Hello, everyone, and welcome to Word on the Street. My name is Cyril Summers McGee, and I am the founder and CEO of Workplace Change, a human resources, diversity, equity, and inclusion firm located here in the Pacific Northwest. But we work all over the nation. All right, gang. So Word on the Street is that employers are still super reluctant to hire people who were formerly incarcerated into their vacancies, even during a tight job market which doesn't make any sense, right? Well, here's my perspective on it. So we know that it is very hard to fill any vacant role right now. It has been for the last year. It is forecasted to continue to be challenges over the next year or two, and yet, we are still being reluctant to hire people with the past criminal record, especially, you know, if the criminal record doesn't have anything to do with the job that they're currently performing in. So for instance, if someone went to prison for fraud, right, you might not be able to employ them into certain records roles or into certain banking roles, or if someone was convicted because they were a predator to, to youth or to individuals. I mean, I know that this is hard to hear, but they likely should not get positions where they have close proximity to vulnerable populations or to young people. That makes sense. But should they never have a job for the rest of their lives? They've served their time, they've been released, and they've gotta be able to make a way in the world. They have to be able to to pay for rent and to pay for $7 a gallon gas and, you know, chicken that's, you know, $22 per wing ding. Like, they've gotta be able to care for themselves. And we are very quick to say, we don't want the government, you know, people looking for a government handout. So why can't these people be hired into these roles? There is still a stigma associated with people who have paid their dues, paid their time, been released, right? and now they're ready to get their lives back on track and we are not allowing them to. My call to you is to to shake the shackles from your mind as it pertains to hiring folks who are, you know, who were previously convicted and served their time. They need opportunities. They can be they can be uh, trained up to take on uh, lower skill types of positions, but then there are others with lots of education that they got before they went to prison or during prison. These are still valuable members of our community, and we have got to give them access and opportunities to these life-altering job opportunities, right? So why not now, right? While you have all of these vacancies inside your organization, why not give them a chance? I implore you to. So word on the street is that you're still holding the stigma of being previously convicted over their heads, and I'm saying if you are against cancel culture, if you are against not allowing people to to evolve and pay for their wrongdoings and become better human beings over time, if you are if you believe that that is true, then give people an opportunity to take the jobs that are available inside your organizations on your teams starting today. There are so many programs out there. Click the link to a few of them that are available in the Pacific Northwest region to begin with. All right, y'all. Thank you and tune in again for our next word on the street.